Light rail riders questioning security after a man is brutally attacked at 30th and Downing, all caught on surveillance video. Russell Haythorne always investigating, and Russell, some riders telling you officers are not there at key times. Right, Mike. Several passengers telling us that light rail security is much more concerned about show me your pass and less concerned about patrolling these light rail cars late at night when crimes are more violent. After this brutal attack, questions have surfaced about light rail security late at night. It's just a little creepy. You don't really feel like there's anybody here. The assault led us to ask riders how much security they encounter. I have yet to see it. So we picked our route, swiped our card, and took a ride at rush hour. Do you ever feel like you're unsafe on these? Uh, not at the times I ride. This is the D line. It was standing room only at 515, and while a lot of passengers got on and off, we didn't see any security. Every now and then you see them checking for tickets, but it's not very often. Several hours after our rush hour ride, we hopped on after dark, and again, no sign of security on the trains. Where I travel to. I feel safe. We checked with RTD. They would not tell us how many guards are on light rail at night. They did say they have 100 armed uniformed officers and an additional 265 police officers contracted through Denver, Aurora and Lakewood. There's no way to know if security would have stopped this incident, but many riders say they welcome a more visible security presence. I ride the light rail about two or three times a week, and I don't think I've been checked for a ticket in several months. To RTD's credit, we did see two security officers at the platform, much like this at the convention center, where this weekend they're hosting the Great American Beer Festival. Live in Denver, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.